What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne. Thank you for joining me in another video. Today, we are here to take a look at the 2023 BMW iX M60. This is BMW's true first all electric SUV. Now I know some of you might mention the i3. That was more of a hatchback and didn't leave as much as an impression as this iX does. Now, if you ask me, this is the nicest all electric SUV currently out on the market. You guys can argue amongst yourselves in the comment section if you would like, but I've driven this thing for a week and between the design, interior and exterior, the build quality, the use of materials, the suspension and the overall handling, this thing is unmatched. This is the standard when it comes to all electric SUVs. This is an electric SUV that handles like a true BMW and BMWs are known for their handling, right? So this particular iX M60 is finished in the beautiful Storm Bay Metallic. It features the Amido leather with bronze accents throughout the exterior and interior of the vehicle. Now, the base price comes in just under 106,000. As shown, this one is $115,000. So today, let's get into the interior and exterior details of the all new BMW iX M60 and see how this ride has been engineered for excellence. So let's start off the review by getting the numbers out the way. We have two electric motors providing all wheel drive capability. Those two motors are connected to 111.5 kilowatt hour battery. That battery is gonna help you get 610 horsepower, 811 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds, maximum range of 280 miles, and a 10 minute fast charge will give you up to 90 miles of range. Aren't those figures impressive? Now, when it comes to the styling, we're getting typical BMW design language. You guys are familiar with the lay of the land by now. Subtle styling for the hood. Now, I will make mention, there isn't a frunk, so go ahead and get your griping out the way. No frunk. If you see the hood of an iX open, that means there's some problems or maintenance going on there. Now, they hid the windshield wiper fluid right underneath the BMW logo. I like how simple and clean that is and how it doesn't interfere with the design. Mercedes-Benz could take note from that on their Mercedes EQS. Coming lower, we have the huge BMW kidney grill. Now there's quite a bit going on with the kidney grill here. It is loaded with sensors behind this grill. So to make sure nothing interferes with those sensors, BMW incorporated a heating element that melts away ice and any snow that might be sitting on the grill as well. In addition to that, this is made out of a self-healing polyurethane. So if it gets scratched, you can simply pour hot water on there and it'll heal itself. So nothing will get in the way of the sensors. Now the grill is trimmed out in these bronze triangles. You're gonna notice bronze is the theme throughout the exterior and interior details of this vehicle. Now, when it comes to the headlamps in typical BMW fashion, they are slim and trim. It almost looks like the car is squinting at you. Of course, you have LED daytime running lamps. And of course you have the BMW laser headlamp technology incorporated into the design here as well. Coming lower, we do have gloss black accents. And then there's some air intakes here that allow for laminar flow across the wheel wells while this vehicle's in motion. Of course you have gloss black accents on the bottom of the grill, but overall, I think the front of the vehicle it does take some getting used to, but I do like the overall design language of this vehicle, especially when it comes to the rear. Checking out the side profile, the first thing that you'll see are these large M Aero 22 inch bi-color wheels shot in all season tires. Now behind those wheels, you're gonna get an M Sport braking system with blue calipers that feature the M logo. I think that looks nice and really pops out against the rest of this vehicle's details here. Now, of course you have the Storm Bay metallic paintwork, which we mentioned earlier, and gloss black accents on the lower panels of the side profile as well. Now, of course, bronze is the theme of the vehicle. You saw that up front with the grill, but it's also incorporated on the window sills and underneath the side view mirrors, as well as the door handles. So that really looks nice and pops out against that paintwork as well. You'll notice they balanced it out with gloss black on the top of the windows. So bronze on the bottom, gloss black up top. Now, speaking of the door panels, you'll notice if you open the door, you have frameless windows, which really goes nice with the overall modern theme of this vehicle. 
Now, you'll also notice that the body structure when you open the doors is composed of carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Now you also have high strength steel around the windshield, and then you have aluminum incorporated in different areas of the vehicle as well. So I love how BMW goes the next step further, just like they did with their seven series to incorporate that carbon fiber reinforced plastic body structure as well. Now you do have an air suspension system, a two axle air suspension system to be exact, which gives you a silky smooth ride in this vehicle. And you can truly feel the difference when compared to driving other EVs. In addition to that two axle air suspension system, the IXM60 also features rear wheel steering. So that's gonna help virtually shorten the wheelbase a little bit when you need to make tight turns in parking lot situations or make a quick U-turn on the street. That's come in handy the past week that I've had it. The rear of the iX60 is perhaps my favorite angle of this vehicle because it really helps pronounce how wide this vehicle is, especially with these razor blade like tail lamps that match the headlamps up front. So you see how the theme of modern and thin headlights and taillights carries over from the front to the back as well. Now you'll notice that these tail lamps are incorporated on the car's bodywork. So what happens if you open the hatch, right? Those tail lamps are up. Well, you have an additional set of lamps here. So that way in low light conditions, if you're pulled over on the side of the road, you won't be a hazard. People will be able to see you and you'll be safe. Now, of course, you'll notice that you do have some storage here. Drop the second row. It's going to give you up to 79 cubic feet of storage. One touch allows the lift gate system to close nice and slowly. Of course, you have a spoiler and third brake lamp tucked away nicely there. You can barely see it. So I love how clean the overall design from the rear is. I only wish that they could have hid this rear wiper blade as well. But overall, from the side profile, the rear and the front, I think this is a good looking EV. Let's go ahead and check out this vehicle's interior. Now, this is where the iX truly starts to separate itself from the rest of the EV SUVs on the market. It's the fit, finish, the trim, the materials, the build quality, all the stuff that we love from BMW incorporated in this EV really gives it a flagship sense of feel in this car. Starting at the top of the dash, it's covered in a smooth, buttery soft to the touch leather this leather is a $3,500 option it is called the Amido leather and you'll notice the contrast stitching you'll even notice an olive leaf on the dash embossed in the leather now why is that olive leaf there that means that the dye used for this leather was sourced from olive leaf extract so the use of sustainable materials the wood the glass everything is just very nicely done in this vehicle now you'll notice i do have a huge curved display here about a 12.3 inch display for the instrument cluster and about a 15 inch display for the infotainment system so have your apple carplay your android auto all wireless controls for your seat ventilation heating heated steering wheel massage seats all can be found within the infotainment system menu it goes together really nicely everything is extremely well done Coming lower, you have the air conditioning vent surrounded with the bronze accents. See how I said the bronze theme would carry on to the interior? Here you go. So the bronze accents throughout the interior around the air conditioning vent. You have a floating center console here with wood and glass controls. The glass controls, that's part of your luxury package. That's a $1,500 option, but the glass controls just really takes the interior details to another level. They look like crystals and it just really pops off the interior so i love the natural wood theme here and then buttons for your infotainment system and a glass wheel to control your infotainment system as well glass controls for your electronic gear selector as well bronze accents continue and then you have storage in between the two seats here as well now on the lower portion of the center console we do have wireless charging two usb ports and two cup holders you can place your phone here in the center console and feed the wire through here, connecting it to the USB ports as well if you want to do so. The steering wheel feels very nice in my hands. I love its unique shape. It's kind of got this squircle thing going on, but so far in the week that I've used it, no problems whatsoever. It is a heated steering wheel. 
does feature the BMW branding in the middle there as to be expected. And again, you do have that thin film transistor display sitting nicely behind the steering wheel as well. And then you have a head up display, which looks nice as well, displays the speed you're going as well as the speed limit of each road that you're on and kind of like a power band that shows how much power you're using as you put your foot into the throttle. Coming over to the door panels, it's done in that smooth Amido leather, no beads whatsoever. It is nice and soft. You do have ambient lighting as well. Your seat controls are made out of that glass. So again, that glass just pops off, really sets the interior off, and it kind of has a bronze tone to it as well. Now you do have bronze accents, and inside those accents, they've incorporated your unlock and lock buttons and the button to open your doors as well. You do have Bowers and Wilkins stereo system, and I like the metal laser cut aluminum speaker grills really set this interior off coming lower more soft to the touch leather controls for all four windows side view mirrors and storage on the bottom of the door as well now coming over to the seats these are easily some of the most incredible and comfortable seats that i've sat in in recent times the seats you could sit on these for hours and just be so comfortable they also offer three levels of heating and cooling they also offer a massage feature as well so everything that you would want is incorporated into these seats the overall design of the seats i like as well with the contrast stitching it fits well with the overall vehicle's theme now i did mention that the seats are heated once you activate the heated seats your center console and door panels heat as well so it's like you're just wrapped in warmth and it feels nice now the sunroof lets in tons of light into the cabin there isn't a shade but what is cool is that the sunroof is electrochromatic, meaning that you push a button, it goes from transparent to opaque, just like that, and it just blocks all that heat from coming into the cabin. So I think that's a nice touch. Looks nice and modern, fits in with the overall theme of the vehicle. But I really love the attention to detail that BMW incorporated in the interior design with this huge curved screen, the smooth leather, even the embossed olive leaf in the dash, that is a nice touch. The seats, again, super plush and comfortable, and I just don't want to give this car back. Let's go ahead and check out the rear. Now, the rear seating is quite comfortable. I love how soft the leather is. Again, you're getting that same design that you saw in the front seats on the rear seats. Now, the second row seating is heated as well, but look at how the leather just wraps around to the door panels, almost like what you see in Rolls Royce. You're just cocooned in leather, and it feels oh so good. The seats in front of me, the front row seats, the back of them feature two USB ports. And of course, there is a slot here for your accessories, whether it's a hanger or maybe an infotainment system. You do have your own climate controls here in the center console, controls for your heated seats and just overall ventilation. So there's plenty of ventilation back here between the two vents and the vents on either side, right in front of the doors. Now the door panels do feature the same amount of detail as they did up front. You have the soft leather, the ambient lighting, the bronze accents, and your Bowers and Wilkins speaker grills. Again, I love the detail on that. Everything in this car has been done right as far as the interior is concerned. This is just an exceptional place to be. And like I said, what sets this EV apart from the rest is the build quality, the fit and finish of the materials. And I know this is an expensive vehicle, but there are other expensive EVs out there that just don't deliver in terms of the build quality. Once you pay over six figures for a vehicle, when you're driving it, you wanna feel that six figures. I wanna feel every cent, and BMW has done an exceptional job in doing so. Let's go ahead and get the iX out on the street and see how it handles. So we have the BMW iX60 out on the street now. Now I've had this car for a few days and I will say the first thing I noticed when driving this car is how remarkably quiet it is. So they probably put a ton of sound insulation in here, but to take it another step further, one thing I didn't notice is that annoying electric whirring sound that all the other EVs seem to do. So you don't hear any of that. It's just quiet, even on throttle. I'm struggling to hear anything, anything whatsoever. So I really can appreciate how quiet this cabin is. And you guys can probably tell how quiet it is by the sound of my voice in here, how well insulated it is. Now this is quite a smooth riding vehicle. Like I said, this features a two axle adaptive air system and that air suspension just really 
makes you feel like you are riding on glass. So the handling quality of this vehicle, even though it's an EV, it feels nice and planted. The suspension is soft and supple, but it still goes where you want it to go. It still feels like a BMW. And I think they've just done an astounding job on this vehicle. Now, in terms of comfortability, like I said, the seats are some of the best I've sat in in recent times, easily. Now, I have the seat ventilation on. The seat ventilation isn't loud whatsoever. It's extremely quiet. And of course, the design of the steering wheel gives you a great sense of control while behind the wheel of this vehicle. So right now, I'm in efficient mode, pretending as if I've driven in that mode before for you guys. Let me go ahead and just be honest with you and switch it into sport mode and just lean in the throttle and see what happens. <laughs> the acceleration in this car is just... I don't even know what to say right now. That's so much torque. It just pushes you into your seat and you just hold on for dear life. I, I gotta do that again. All right, let, let me let me just launch this thing again. Oh my God! Oh my God! Sixty miles per hour, just like that. That that is just wild. <laughs> this should not, this should not be allowed. That is just wild. How much torque this thing has, and it feels controlled too, though. So even on streets with curves it still feels nice and planted you know you could take the turns with some confidence and you might notice you know the electric sounds while i'm going into the power in this vehicle this vehicle has sounds that were created and produced by legendary music producer hans zimmer if you don't know who he is just look him up check out that guy's resume for example, I think he was involved in the recent Top Gun movie. This guy is just well known. And BMW said they want a car that sounds good when you lean into the throttle. They contacted the right guy. <laughs> wow. So on even roads that are less than perfect, that suspension comes into play really nicely. And it rides exceptionally smooth for a vehicle that has 22 inch wheels, right? Now, of course, you're getting all season tires with this. Um, not some sport or race tires. This is an SUV after all. But the handling just, it really delivers. It, this is a BMW through and through. Gosh, just the way this thing pushes you back in your seat is just incredible. Now, what I like most about this vehicle, I get that some people might be on the fence about the exterior styling. I was at first. And after having it for a few days, I've come to like it. I don't know what it is, uh, but I've come to like it. Um, the interior for me is really what takes this car to the next level because in terms of the EV world, I don't know of an EV on the market, an EV SUV that has... <laughs> that has the fit and finish and quality feel as this BMW iX does. I mean, really, I mean, look at the leather, the, the quality of the leather, the stitching, you know, features like the, you know, the ventilated seats. I know a lot of vehicles have that, but the fact that they're just as quiet as the rest of the vehicle, once you turn them on, they're not deafening, right? And then cool features such as the electrochromatic roof, I, I just think that's a really nice touch. Now, some people might say they wish they had a sunshade. Yeah, they could have threw a sunshade in there, but it does block out the sun sufficiently in such a way that when you're out there running errands on a hot summer day, which I've done in this vehicle, the sun isn't pulverizing you. You don't feel that you have to close the shade that you don't have, right? The electrochromatic roof does a great job of blocking out that sunlight and additional heat. So if that's something you're worried about, fear not. Seating in the second row, you know, almost 40 inches of legroom back there. Again, like I said, you got the heated seats back there. I mean, this vehicle just offers you everything that you could ever want in an EV SUV, right? I wish that 
if, if I had my choice of buying an EV SUV, it would be this one. Because quite frankly, I just don't see anything else on the market really competing in every category that this one does so well. Now the M Sport brakes, those feel nice as well, nice and responsive. So once you're leaning into the throttle, you know, you still feel like you have control over the vehicle. You have confidence that once you hit that brake, that this vehicle is going to come to a relatively short stop. So the soundtrack, the sounds this car makes once you go into the throttle, it's not to the point where it's overdone. It's just there and it's just there and it just sounds nice being there. Now, if you switch it into a different mode, if I go to my modes and go back to efficient, you know, you're not going to get those sounds. So if you don't want the sounds, you don't have to have them, right? I really like how they've done that. So a lot of cars that are electric, you know, they go out their way to make up for the lack of sounds of the internal combustion engine. But I think BMW just really did this one right. Let me go back into sport and I'm going to floor it. <laughs> Wow, 60 already. This thing is just, <laughs> it's so much power. 811 pound-feet of torque. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but, you know, once you lean into the throttle on this vehicle, you just find yourself holding on to that steering wheel as tight as you can. <laughs> it's just short spurts of leaning into that throttle, and it's like you're there already. So those are my thoughts on the handling, the sharpness, the ride. What's most impressive about riding in this vehicle and driving it is the peace. I mean, listen to that. You don't hear anything. This cabin is truly quiet and that exudes luxury. So as far as the asking price of 116, 115,000 for this particular model, I feel and see the $115,000. There's nothing worse than putting out that amount of money on a vehicle and not being able to see, feel, and touch it. But when it comes to the iX, the MSRP feels justified. So that was a brief overview of the 2023 BMW iX M60. What do you guys think about this one? Zero to 60 in the mid threes. Two axle air suspension, rear steering, up to 78 cubic feet of storage capacity, seating for five. It gives you everything you need in a modern EV SUV without the sacrifice. This thing rides like it's on glass and the acceleration will rip your face off. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in this BMW or any other BMW model, please reach out to my friend Tali Poff at Gwinnett Place BMW here in Georgia. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.